The presidency has responded to allegations made by Pastor Tundbukar, senior pastor of the latter Rain Assembly, that the Muhammadu Buhari-led federal government had failed to fulfill its promise to Nigerians. In an interview on Channels TV, Femi Adezina, special advisor to the president on media and publicity, stated that contrary to Bukhari's claims, the federal government is on course. We gathers that Adezina stated that the Buhari government is actually doing what it said it would do. He said, I believe that this government is on course, is doing what it has promised to do. If you are talking of performance, yes every government must be under pressure. Because it must be seen to fulfill its promises, sure, government will be under pressure on that because it must perform. But then, pressure in terms of will they vote for us, will they not vote for us? I don't think so. By the time the mandate ends and it needs to be renewed. The onus will be on the electorate whether to give a fresh mandate or not to give. For me, as far as I know, as far as I see, as we move on, I think the government is doing what it promised to do. A Dezina further described as mere opinions, the claims made by the cleric, that Nigeria is still dependent on oil as its major source of revenue. According to the president's aid. That claim is simply not true. He stated, whether it's his own opinion or he's reading something somebody has written, there are always opinions, and you can't say that opinion is the opinion. He, Baker, talked about diversification of the economy. A lot of people will not agree with him that oil is still the only thing driving the Nigerian economy, it's not true. Oil still is very important to us. Oil led Nigeria recession when it crashed, but it was not only oil that brought Nigeria out of recession. Agriculture contributed in large part, solid minerals contributed in large part, even manufacturing is climbing up in Nigeria. Adazino also disagreed with Bukhara about unemployment figures. In his words, we know there is huge unemployment in the land but then, the statistics reeled out, by Mr. Bukhari, do not agree with what the National Bureau of Statistics is given. The NBS said last year, 4 million jobs were lost and that the cumulative between 2015 and now is about 7 million. But you had the Minister of Agriculture last week saying that in the agricultural sector alone, 6 million jobs have been created. And you heard the Minister of Labor and Employment saying 8 million jobs have been created. So, these figures can be thrown all around but they don't constitute things cast in concrete. Meanwhile, we previously reported that Pastor Tundbukar denied reports that he wanted to run for Nigeria's presidential seat in 2019. In tweets of his sermon at his latter reign assembly in Nagba area of Lagos state, the pastor said his message from God was misinterpreted. According to his tweets, at no point did he say he would run in 2019 or declare to open a presidential campaign as was inferred in the reports of his Monday, January 1, 2018 sermon.